got two things I want to say to, to dads this morning, to fathers, that I believe are a couple of true statements that, and, and life-giving statements that if we as dads will speak these things to our children, it can make a difference in their lives. It can, it can mark them with a place of encouragement as they think back about us. One of them is this, to say, to say, not to assume they know it because the clothes you bought them or because the dentist trips you paid for or various things, but to say, to say it with your mouth, I love you. And I'm proud to be your daddy. I love to say it. I cannot tell you how many men, hundreds if not thousands of men, over the years of, of ministry who would honestly say, in a transparent setting where they could freely just speak of their past. They would say, you know, I never heard my father tell me that he loved me or tell me that he was proud of me. And as a result of that, boys can grow up into men, daughters can grow up into, into women chasing the approval, desiring to get the approval of the Father because it never was spoken, never knew that you measured up. So dads, regardless, of our, ours, are, ours are all grown and have their own houses and families and so forth now, but I, oh, I tell you, it just brings a great big old, big old lump in my throat and tears start coming out of my eyes at the thought of being able to look into Abby's face and look into Katie's face and look into... Evan's face and to be able to say I love you and I'm proud to be your daddy you know the other thing is the other thing is I believe our 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 kids need to hear us as dads say I was wrong I'm sorry and I ask you to forgive me instead of just assuming that let the water go under the bridge, let time pass, and time will heal all wounds. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Time doesn't heal all wounds. But I believe we can help. And you know there's only, there's only one perfect father, and he is not physically present in this room. We're not going to find him anywhere on the face of the earth. We, we, won't, we won't find the Lord, the, the presence of the Father in, in our hearts and how how important it can be that our, our kids hear us say, when we were wrong, I was wrong. When we hurt them, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Again, that's something that, you know, call it old school or whatever, that just didn't work and it wasn't right. And that when we've been wrong and we've hurt ones especially that have been affected by our actions or by our words. What an amazing just surge of grace and surge of freedom can come to look ones in the eye, and even if they're our own children, and say, I was wrong when I said that. I was wrong when I did that. And I ask you to forgive me. I just believe if, you know, I Dads, we, we can today, you know, over a hamburger, a cheeseburger, or wherever we're going to have, that, that the dads get to pick today to be able to just say, I love you. I'm proud to be your dad. And maybe privately in another setting to be able to say, I was wrong. My attitude was wrong. I'm sorry. And I ask you to forgive me. All right, I just needed to say that, and I'm speaking as a dad who, who, has, who has needed to do those things, and there are going to probably be some other things that, that I may not even be aware of yet that I'll need, to, I'll need to own up to and ask forgiveness for. But I, you never go tired of just seeing that look and their friend just say, I love you, I love you, and I'm, and I'm proud to be your daddy. All right, that's...